Well, Capitan is an exascale class computer uh, currently being installed here at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory in support of the National Nuclear Security Administration's mission, um, which is to maintain the, the U.S. nuclear stockpile and the science basis to give us the confidence uh, in that stockpile. When El Capitan is fielded, we expect it to be a little over uh, two exaflops of peak double precision floating point performance, uh, which we're pretty confident is going to make it uh, the fastest system, the number one system in the world. Tuolumne is a system of the same architecture as El Capitan. Uh, it's a little smaller system, a fewer number of racks, but it will be housed in our unclassified network in support of our open science missions. So in the NNSA and at Lawrence Livermore, we, we do classified work. Uh, that's, that's where El Capitan will be supporting the mission. But we also have a lot of work that we want to do in the unclassified space. Uh, material science, seismic modeling, drug discovery. Uh, there's a number of unclassified missions as well. But this also allows us to uh, work with the external community, academic partners, industry partners, uh, and the rest of the laboratory. To run these simulations requires enormous amounts of computing power. El Capitan is going to be a real step function in our compute capability. Uh, our current system, Sierra, was the, one of the first systems that the NNSA procured for production that used graphical processing units, or GPUs, as the basis for computing. El Capitan continues on that trend adds some really nice features, something AMD calls an APU, or an Accelerated Processing Unit, which is a combined CPU and GPU on a single package with a single memory space. Uh, El Capitan we expect to be about 15 to 20 times more powerful than Sierra, and the amount of science that we're going to be able to do is going to be commensurate with that. But really, the complexity and the level of detail that we'll be able to study in our simulations, given the power of this machine, is really where we're looking forward to new discoveries, new capabilities. So in addition to the sort of traditional high-performance computing modeling and simulation uh, that we intend to use El Capitan for, uh, it turns out it's going to be one of the most capable AI systems on the planet as well, and we're really excited about that. That means two things. One, uh, to train these large models that have really uh, sort of taken over the world right now with generative AI and transformer models requires really exascale class computers, and uh, in particular GPUs or graphical processing units are uh, uh, are a basis for a lot of these large training models. But in addition, to train uh, these models requires enormous amounts of data, and that's something that El Capitan is going to be very capable of generating, is the amounts of data that we need to train these models. So one of the other really exciting things happening at Lawrence Livermore is the National Ignition Facility, or NIF, achieving fusion and computing has been a big part of uh, enabling that and we expect computing to be an important enabler to us getting to higher and higher yields as well. One of the problems we expect to run early in El Capitan's lifetime as we're bringing it up is targeted exactly at that, what's called inertial confinement fusion. And using a combination of 1D, 2D, and 3D calculations along with some trained AI models uh, to help us hone in on an even more robust design uh, so that we can get to the higher yields. Some of the other kinds of science that we, we run, probably on Tuolumne, uh, our unclassified system, include uh, high resolution earthquake modeling. Uh, being in the Bay Area, we have a, a lot of concern about uh, you know the big one hitting, uh, and we can use modeling to help understand how to make buildings more structurally sound, uh, to calculate evacuation routes, uh, and really for emergency planning. Um, we've got a big uh, push in what's called bioassurance. Um, the recent pandemic, COVID-19 pandemic, laid bare how little we understand about uh, new biohazards, but also 
uh, showed us how much computing can help us get a handle on rapid therapeutics, for example. So one of the most exciting things about El Capitan to me is the idea that we're going to discover new things. Uh, kind of like a telescope. This is giving us a way to look further than we ever have before in more detail than we ever have before. We don't know maybe exactly what that's going to uncover, but we do know that it's going to allow us to discover new things. The first time we hear about what these new discoveries are, that's when it feels like all of this hard work, all of this partnership is finally coming together to fruition, that we've used these systems not just to confirm maybe what we already knew, but to really do scientific discovery. That's the really exciting part of a system like El Capitan to me. Thank you.